Hi everyone, and this is a video about a um, cluttering term called mazing. And it's one of the most um, helpful terms that I have um, heard. And basically, um, basically what it describes is, um, I think the thing about cluttering that's the most obvious, which is when, um, so, so um, it's, it, it's a little bit hard to describe. But it's when someone um, it's when someone with cluttering um, talks uh, um, talks in kind of um, kind of a kind of a circle. But the way that I picture it is like a corn maze where you go this way, then you go this way, then you go this way, then you go this way. Um, I um, before I made this video, I tried to find a um, definition online. Um, the one that I um, the one that I remember and that sticks in my head. Um, just um, I. I can't remember the full thing, but but it says that the the clutter um, speaks as if they were lost in a maze. And so so for um, for me, when I heard that, I realized, oh well, that's um, when when this is ha when when mazing is happening to me. That's what it looks like from the outside. Is that I'm just kind of going around, um, um, it, th that I'm just kind of going around in this in this maze and this maze that's kind of in my um, head. So. Oh, so so one of the things that people used to describe my cluttering was that, um, um, or a friend of mine once said, "Joseph, you're the only person that I know that interrupts themselves when they're talking," and I think that um, really describes amazing um, really well because um, I think I would be talking about one thing, then I'd have a I'd have another thought, or my organization of my speech wasn't that great, and so I so to the out to the outside it looked like I was kind of skipping back and um, back and forth when when I'm really just ha I, I really just have a whole bunch of stuff that I um, the, um, that's um, that's in my head that's not organized very well, and so it kind of goes um, goes back and forth and goes kind of around like a um, like a like a corn maze. So one of the um, um, the def um, one of the definitions of cluttering or um, talks about the three different kinds of disfluencies, and one of the disfluencies is interjections. So um, so interjection is. Um, like, like interruption or, or interjection, um, one of the ways or one of the things that happens with that is if you're saying if you're saying something like uh, what's a what's a good word like um, paper uh, oh, oh I'm trying to think of one um, one word like um, like constitution but then you realize oh um, that's not the right word then you say consta and then um, say oh well the um, that paper that they all signed so so that's a that's kind of a inter interruption interjection, and then the other um, the other thing that happens is is not just with a term but in the middle of a sentence. Um, and so so a sentence like I want to go to the store, but then at the same time I want to say the um, sentence um, it's nice weather in Bangkok. I might say I want to go to the it's nice weather in Bangkok, so I never actually finish um, that, and and then I might come around I might come around later to um, talk about um, going going to the store, and so then that's a that's kind of how amazing is because from the outside it looks like I am lost um, lost in a maze, just kind of going going around. So. Um, So, so the way that I um, before I heard before I heard the term amazing before I like self monitored myself to realize okay well yeah this is uh, this is what I'm doing um, the way um, the way that I described it was getting stuck because like um, and I think um, I think this is probably different with everyone with cluttering so with me then when I um, when when I get stuck and I and I'm uh, my mind's just kind of going around and around. Um, one of the one of the things that I often do is just stop talking for a while, and um, and and I think um, I don't I don't think all clutterers do that. I think um, um, probably a probably um, probably some people do. Probably some people just keep um, keep going. But but like one of the things I think maybe unique to me is that. 
like when I'm going like back and forth and back and forth in my head with a whole bunch of different um, topics, then then I um, then I just kind of get lost and um, don't um, don't don't say anything for a while. So so the part um, the part of cluttering that's embarrassing for me is when it is is this amazing part, and maybe that's why um, maybe that's why I found this term helpful is that it was able to describe, okay, this is the part that I don't like about cluttering is when my mind goes do, 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 do. And my voice, um, is just trying to, um, trying to say all the stuff that I'm thinking about. And then it sounds really awkward and people look at me like, what the heck are you saying, Joseph? And, um, anyway, that, um, that's, um, that's how it feels. That's how, uh, that's how amazing feels like for, um, for, for me. And, um, and so, um, and so I think at, um, and, and to a, to a trained speech therapist, then I think stuttering and cluttering don't sound anything alike, but to someone that doesn't know anything about, um, speech therapy or, ling- or, um, or, or speech pathology, then, um, then I think the amazing part of cluttering sounds very, very similar to, um, st- um, stuttering just to the just to the ordinary person because um, because um, at least uh, um, at least for me at um, at its worst when I'm uh, when I'm going like topic to topic to topic maybe I have like um, ten different things that I'm going back and forth and trying to say all at the same time then um, then. Then um, when, when when that's really really bad, then it sounds a lot like um, a, a lot like stuttering. Not um, like I said, not to the speech pathologist because there's no trouble pronouncing like individual sounds. But it sounds like um, it sounds like just um, just a whole bunch of like stuff coming um, coming out, and that I'm having a hard time actually saying it. Um, okay, so, so I, hopefully, hopefully that gives a decent, decent enough example. Oh, I guess, um, I guess I should, I should talk about an example and, and, um, and this, um, this video is, this video is a good, um, a good example of it because if I, um, I, I made all these notes on my, um, on how uh, on how I'm doing this video, but if I would have done the video uh, without uh, these notes, then I would have had a lot more um, amazing. Where I just I I was trying to get a whole bunch of stuff um, all all at the same time. So so there's one thing that I'm saving to the very end of this video that that is um, that if I hadn't written all this out, then I would have kept trying to interject it. Um, in in the rest in the rest of this uh, video because um, because it just seems like it, um, se- seems like it was important to me and so um, so so oh so so if I wouldn't um, if I wouldn't have have made this outline then I would have um, wanted to like make all of my points all at the same time and then you would see then you would see a lot of of the uh, amazing and and it's hard to like clutter on demand or do stuff on demand so i'm really describing what amazing is instead of actually um doing it very much which um any uh, um anyway one uh, one of my ideas was to first uh, like make two versions of the video one one without me being very organized and then uh, the second one um the second one with me trying to fix some stuff, but anyway, this this I think is a like happy happy medium, or um, that's what I tried. To, that's what I tried to do. So anyway, how um, how to fix it um, for um, for me for for me the outlining technique, which is basically um, before you start talking, then write out something like this. 
Um, usually, usually sticking to three points is the is the best. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five. So I have five points in my in in my video, but um, three um, three is the best, especially for like short um, short answers. And that's um, that's that's one of the best ways on how to fix it. But this um, this video is more about um, describing it. So the thing that, um, even though it's a helpful term, I think it's kind of a horrible term because it doesn't really describe um, cluttering in a very good light. And I think any, any kind of speech disorder or speech problem, it's hard to be very complimentary about it, but um, because this, um, the term mazing isn't something that a clutterer came up with. It's someone, it's a term that someone else came up with, saying, "Hey, well, that 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 guy looks like he's in a maze," and um, like it's just not very complimentary. And um, and like if it didn't resonate with me with um, with the time when um, when I'm most embarrassed about my speech, then I would probably. Um, really not like um, like the term. So so I wish there was a better term than mazing, um, because um, because um, like like mazing um, is short for he looks or he sounds like he's stuck in a maze in his own head. Um, like there has to be a better way of describing it than that, but um, maybe that's the best thing that there is out there for now. So anyway, I I like the term even though it's a horrible term because it's a helpful term. And um, I think I've talked enough about outlining in my other videos that I won't go over it too much besides that uh, for me, um, that's one of the most helpful things for um, fixing mazing. So anyway, that's, uh, that's what I have to say. Thanks very much for listening. Um,